Last year, Fjord Fuzz released a new pedal every month. It, it wasn't every month, but <laughs> there were so many new Fjord Fuzz pedals uh, that I even don't remember them all, even though I uh, play them all. Um, for this year, he decided to slow it down a bit because he is working, he told me some secrets, and he's working on very, very spectacular stuff. It's all fuzz related, of course, but it's weird shit and <laughs> you're gonna love it. So if you're not following Fjord Fuzz on Instagram or Facebook or whatever, um, go follow him because it's amazing. And if you're not following me, just <laughs> go follow me as well and subscribe to my channel. Uh, back to the new Fjord Fuzz pedal. It's been a few months, so... Uh, <laughs> It seems like a long time for a new Fjord Fuzz pedal. Uh, this time he released the Hedda. And the Hedda is a fuzz phase type based pedal with amazing volume control on the guitar cleanup. Um, one knob, it's not very loud, it's not very gainy. Um, and he told me you should stick it in front of an overdriving amp or your favorite overdrive pedal, which is where, what we're gonna do today. Um, I have my grey light speed on going into the silk tone amp, which is set to clean ish. Uh, but we have a nice, like, gritty tone going on before we're gonna kick on the pedal. Yeah, RCA type knob. Look at this. It's amazing. I love these. I don't think they're real bake light, but it doesn't matter. They look super cool. The big knob controls gain and volume, and the small knob. He, he promised me to send me a blurb about the controls, but he didn't send it to me, so I'm just guessing here. <laughs> I think the small knob controls the oscillation or feedback loop kind of thing. There is a second switch here. If you press and hold that, it goes into insanity mode. And um, uh, with the small knob, I found out you can dial in the amount of insanity that is in the normal sound. So if it's set to max, the insanity oscillation feedback loop switch will not do anything. Um, if you set it completely counterclockwise, you have like a beautiful fuzz tone and then you can have a big contrast with the momentary oscillation switch right there. Or you can set it anywhere in between to have like a mixture of both things. So, amazing. Let's go listen to some tones. This is my um, overdriven tone. This is my overdriven tone. I love saying that. Here we go. Let's set this to zero. Um, so we have the fuzz tone first. Go. Yeah. And then we clean it up. I'm curious though, if I disengage the light speed, we're going into a clean amp. Yeah, okay, it really needs some driven tones. If I crank the big knob, that is very, very good.
this <laughs> going into a clean amp but with the light speed and then just dialing back a notch on the big knob <laughs> Yes! Um, Alright, so let's try the bottom knob. Let's set it halfway. And then that introduces some oscillation feedback kind of thing. Um, I would call this the tone bender knob because it introduces tone benderish qualities, but let's crank it and then <laughs> Um, so now if I press and hold the momentary There's not much of a difference, but if I set it halfway Okay, so here's an idea for a pedal, if you're at fuzz, um, make this time controllable, like on a delay with a tap tempo and build in a ramp speed so you can change the dur duration of the ramp when it's going to oscillation and going back to normal. That would be amazing and make it MIDI so you can change the time with a MIDI controller. I want that. Okay, so I think I covered everything. It's another mind-blowing creation from Pjord Fuss with two knobs, two switches, and you can have a lot of fun with it, so <laughs> go get one. Thank you for watching. See you next time, and uh, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to my channel because to brood, that one will help me a lot. <laughs> And if you want to score some of my gem tracks, you can find those on my Patreon page. Bye.